day, y'all. Hey, <clears throat> we're gonna have a talk about the greatest conspiracy that nobody is covering. And I'll tell you, wait, what I wanna say to you, greater mind. See you at the table. cheat sheet since we're going to be doing this right and this of course is January I, I got March I will be releasing the March one but I haven't been pushing the calendar as hard because one of my one of my brothers in arms is going to he's constructing a calendar which we will be making available on our site um, to use as a, a fundraiser to help us but today is Imani um, is based on faith, um, the, um, the meiotic principle is harmony, um, the M7 word is trust, uh, the hermetic principle is gender, the color is red, the male name is Quasi, and I got to look up the female name because I got the wrong female name down here, so I'm going to go and make a correction. I'm kind of hurt that some of y'all who might have known didn't let me know that I was messing up like that. You know, I don't like messing up you know we got to check each other sometimes so of course i know we got to start today and today man listen you do not know how men how how just a few of you that's been checking in has been inspiring me and i've been working diligently um to make sure that i could get this toast um uh I, I did, uh, I pre-shot uh, the meeting at the chair. You know what I'm saying? Um, I, we're not going to do the board today. We're doing the chair. And I pre-shot it, so I want to uh, apologize in advance. It's dark. But I, I could have did it again. But I wanted you to to feel, feel it. I, I felt that the feeling that came from it was more important than uh, you being able to see me clearly. So I'm actually giving it an opportunity. Uh, uh, check it out. Uh, let me know what you think about the thoughts about this conspiracy, right? The greatest conspiracy. 
But no one seems to talk about it. <sighs> Drink that water. Come on. Let's get those ounces in us. Let's start our day. Let's get your system working. So today, during the workout, um, again, I'm really focused on the stretches right now. I might do a couple other things. We're going to move into um, some more isometrics. We're going to push through. I'm going to do about three or four of them, depending on how I feel after the stretch, because, you know, I'm trying to, one of my goals is to get a split. I've been trying to get a split for years, and I'm going to use the motivation that y'all give me to push and get a split, because I know I know we can do it, right? We can do it, right? Drink that water, get the eye shade flowing. This is that distilled water. Man, no taste. You know, because that, you know, sometimes these waters we be getting, right? They be saying they spring water or this. And they be having a, a little aftertaste. You'll start noticing after you start drinking water on, on more on a consistent basis. Y'all need to get water in. So, of course, we're going to stick to the regular program. Y'all going to know I got to clean up the kitchen, maybe clean up something else. Uh, who knows, you know. Then I'm going to hit the board, but not with y'all today. I got a lot to iron. Let's get to it. <clears throat> Y'all see, I'm going through it, y'all. I'm going through it. So I got to I gotta, uh, have some on the side for me. Because my wife like it. So I got to have some on the side for me. Um, those that when you're when you drinking some real kombucha, right? Um, unpasteurized stuff, right? Those of you that do uh, the uh, ACV or apple cider vinegar, you notice you have floating things in there. Those are the colonies of bacteria and yeast that are working for you. These are working for you. Y'all can't see it, um, but if you get a close look, you know you can see that in there you got all these little bacteria and you got all these little colonies, billions and billions of cells of, of bacteria. That are going to go into your system and help jumpstart your immune system. Get your immune system moving. Get it empowered. You know what I'm saying? So part of our daily toast is I ask everybody that not only do you have you some water. Now I ain't talking about that sink water, right? Get you some clean water. And then also have you a health drink. Whether it's that ambrosia or some other form of kombucha. Join me in taking your daily vitamins. You know what I'm saying? If you if you ain't got to drink, take say, take some herbs. You know, take a herb tea. Um, take some um, vitamins that you know are working. You know what I'm saying? Something to jump start your body, right? Because we do this early in the morning, right? It ain't as early on the weekends, but it's early, you know, because I got other, I got, I got other things to do. But um, invest in you, all right? Because the conspiracy we're going to be talking about requires you to dedicate. Now, in Imani, Imani is about faith. Imani is about trust. Imani is about um, uh, the, this day is dedicated to harmony, right? Bringing things into harmony. When things come into harmony, they work together, right? You know, you know when you hear uh, a harmonic beat harmonic music it touches something in you it's all these different things working together and i need you to know that your life is a harmony right a bunch of things that have been pulled together in a perfect symphony right and 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 and, and, and i want you to focus on that right so when we are doing this this daily toast when we are when we take the days of the week 
and we 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 dedicate them to something. We bring a harmony into our life. We bring a trust into our life, right? Uh, uh, the ability to trust, right? I want to read the definition for you. Um, this is from dictionary.com. It says, dedicate to set apart and consecrate to a deity or to a sacred purpose. Dedication, right? Dedication to set aside, to make special. Right? When we do these toasts, we are setting these days aside. We're dedicating these days to the principles, which in a sense feed back to us. And when we do these toasts, we're dedicating that day to the creator, which we start with, to our ancestors, to the moment, and to our children, our children's children, and to infinity. We are dedicating these things, right? That's part of the conspiracy that we're going to talk about. And I'm going to try to catch that when I'm in there because the greatest conspiracy that I'm talking about is the conspiracy of you. And we'll get a little bit more into that. And I want you to really think about that. I want you to wrap your, your faith principle. I want you to take your, I want you to evaluate your faith. I want you to evaluate what you trust. I want you to evaluate those things today. And I want you to look at your life from the standpoint of believing that your life is happening for you and not to you. I want you to think about the fact that the sun is shining for you and not at you. I want you to I want you to understand that the birds are flying for you and not you know, uh, not just, just it's everything is happening around you. And I know a lot of y'all can't accept that because a lot of our faith systems, a lot of our religious systems tell us that we are just particles of dust floating. And, and, and if not for divine intervention, you are the divine intervention. I need you to grasp this, right? Awaken from thou suffering or thou that lies prostrate. Get up, wake up, awake, and let's dedicate. All right, so first, remembering that creative force, that creator, that creator by whatever name you choose to call that creator, we ask that that energy that is present in everything be even more present in our life. Allow us to acknowledge it and see it in each and everything that we come across. And we say, Ashe, from there, we move to our children. No, my fuck. And then we move to our ancestors, right? Our personal ancestors. We toast our personal ancestors. We pour for our personal ancestors. We drink for our personal ancestors. And through our dedicating these days to them and to us dedicating this toast to them, we feed them. And in feeding them, we empower them and awaken them so that they can start helping us. So they could be active by us helping them, they'll help us. From there, we toast this present moment. We post, we post, we we toast the present moment. We po we toast the now, right? We toast Imani. We are in, we are in the cycle of Imani. We are in the we are in the day of Imani for this next twenty four hours, and we toast. From there, we toast our children, our children's children, as you heard in the background. We toast them and we celebrate them so that they can toast and celebrate us one day. We are generational people. We shall come back through our bloodlines. You know what I'm saying? So we must live this life to the fullest so that we can make sure that our children have what they need so that they could build so that when we return, we can get what we need. And as we are, you know, and, and as we are be ancestors and ancestral, well, we get what we need. So we toast them and we say, I shay, I shay, I shay. 100 years, 100 years. Ooh, man. Girl, you aging good. Oh my God. Mm. Damn. 
I'm sorry. Oh. Oh, man, I got to say something. Good God Almighty, because it's going to be a while. <sighs> Woo. it down I'm sorry I got listen we gonna I got some more but y'all see that big blob flaw in there oh have mercy I hope you enjoying your health drink like I'm enjoying mine now those that are interested when you support the journey I support you with Ambrosia, especially if you're in Columbus. Um, also, because um, I got people that's on on a monthly basis giving to the journey, so I have to brew for them. Um, but those of you that are experimenters like me and you want to do your own, every time I brew this kombucha, every time I brew this, that Ambrosia, I get another scoby. And I have Scobies galore. If you want to start the process of brewing your own ambrosia, get with me, right? I mean, inbox me. Um, hit me up on the blog. Hit me up on our Facebook page. Hit me up on Twitter because I have Scobies. And I'm more than willing to teach you how to do this because I believe that although um, I, want, I would love to do this as a business, I understand the value that this could bring to other people's lives. So if I can help you, you know what I'm saying? And get you a scoby and get you started to do your own brew. Hey, let's do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, because these scobies, listen, I got I got too many scobies now, right? And they all need to be taken care of. And, 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 and what's incredible about this, right? This is the process, right? I told y'all, it's a symbiotic, symbiotic process. They start providing you what you, with what you need so that you can keep feeding them. It's incredible. They work for you. It's incredible. A trusting relationship. A relationship based on faith. They have faith in me. I have faith in them. We got a symbiotic relationship. Imani. The power of money. It's some money, y'all. It's some money, y'all. It's some money. Remember, dedicate your days. Dedicate your days to what you want. It's some money, y'all. It's some money, y'all. It's some money. It's some money. Peach fam, yo, this is Brother Hot Tim sitting up here getting ready, um, getting ready to have a great day. And I want to wish you uh, a great Imani um, as we go through this Imani. Of course, we can reflect on the week. It just went by us. And um, the thoughts that I'm having far as... Um, Faith, belief, Imani, and other principles. As you see, I got the calendar so that I can make sure I make cover everything. I got we got faith, harmony, um, trust, gender. The color for that day is red. African male name is Kwesi. Female name is Ama. Hmm. Alright. Ooh, I got the wrong female name for uh Imani, so I'm gonna change that. So it's not I'm a I'm a Saturday. But what I'm here to talk to you about as we move into Imani is the conspiracy of you or the conspiracy for you. It's important that in our belief system, because we have a lot of belief systems. Uh, and a lot of them lead us to 
not, in a sense, not having faith in us, but having faith in other things or something that's going to save us. Or <clears throat> what I need you to understand is that the universe is conspiring to bring you what you need. Your creator is conspire, has conspired since the beginning of time to bring you to a point of greatness. Everything that has happened to you in your life up to this point in time has worked to bring you to the point of where you are in your life. And right now is a time in Imani to reflect and to actually decide. We spoke about purpose. We um purpose and and well let's go back to Ajima. On Ajima we covered Proverbs and that proverb that's been rocking my brain has been locked in is the one from the book of coming forth by day where they say awaken out of thy suffering O thou that lies prostrate and it has and, and, and it's sticking with me it brought me through Nia it brought me into Kaumba and it's bringing me into Mani in, in Imani because we are not conscious all of the principles are in a sense failing us because we are not able to receive the messages now I want you to reevaluate your life I, I know some of you have been through some some rough stuff but you need to start understanding that the universe is not happening to you your life is not happening to you it's happening for you and you need to build this faith in this fact why because when you start understanding that the universe is working for you it puts you in a different mind state right so we spoke about the purpose and how the purpose and that fire that burns within you and 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 consumes you as you get focused on your purpose as you awaken and be, become conscious of your purpose and become conscious of everything that's lining up to bring you into line with your purpose right and then the creativity that flows from that because once you are awakened and you become aware these opportunities start popping up and the opportunities aren't there just to uh, are not made simple for you they're laid out so that you can fire up your creativity that that creative spark within you and turn transform these things into what you need this is what i mean that we have to change our belief system from life happening to us to life happening for us and I know some of us have been through some tragedies. And I know, bro, I tell you, can't, you can't tell me that what happened to me in my childhood happened for me. It happened against me. We have to shift our belief system. We have to, we have to take, we have to have faith in the fact that one, we are divine beings. Two, that this life and everything that is in it was put here for us for you to be where you are right now and 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 is and and is working conspiring to get you to awaken the suffering that you that you have went through was to awaken you it's not to keep you prostrate it's to get you to be so frustrated that you break the bonds and get and free yourself and as a group See, because this is what this is what we got to understand. Um, when I was when I had some free time, I was thinking about the Nia. And the, when you when you adopt the idea of the days being dedicated to certain things, it empowers you, right? When, especially when you making a dedication, your days right now because you're going. Monday through Sunday, right, are dedicated for somebody else. I'm saying take your days and dedicate them towards you. Dedicate them towards your people. Ded dedicate them from your culture. Why? Because you take back your time. And it's like on these days, I'm focused on that principle. And because I'm focused on that principle, 
things are hitting me like you wouldn't even believe. And I want them to hit you as well. So when I was looking at purpose, and I'm going to bring it back to money. When I was looking at purpose, right? And I said, it's conscious living. When you become conscious as, a, as an individual, the universe conspires. And this is what we got to have. The universe conspires to make you successful. So what happens when an individual becomes conscious and starts moving in a conscious way and, and experiencing life in a conscious way? And things start to happen and these individuals will make things work for them. Make it work for them rather than against them or um, to them. It's making it happen. It's happening for them. And they're riding the wave of these good things and these bad things. And they're able to transform things into what they need. Right? This is a powerful individual. So what happens when you bring that consciousness to your family? I'm talking about your family, that your your unit, your family that you that you have some say so in, and you have a conscious relationship, and both of you are conscious of each other's purpose and how those purposes in mingle, and you, you get your children and you raise them up in 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 purpose and get them to understand and get them to start believing in the fact that life is happening for them and not to them. What type of family unit would that be? And what happens when that family unit combines with other family units and form a tribe of conscious individuals? You know what I'm saying? Uh, not, And I'm not talking about this bullshit consciousness that I'm hearing people talk about now. You know what I'm saying? Knowing the, uh, the, the history, you do all that. But I'm talking about becoming aware. Were you able to pick up the signals from your creator and your ancestors? Were you able to use your intuition to the fullest? Where your mind is, is open and, and, and ready to receive and ready to give and it's clicking on all the gears and your emotions are becoming balanced and your, your anger, rather than being something that's destroying you, you could use it to guide you in the direction that you want and you can call up happiness and joy when you need to and you can, and, and you can reflect and use the energy of your emotions and guide them towards what you want. When your spirit, when your spirit is being nurtured by your very existence and you are feeling your connection to everything and your body is healthy, right? What happens when this individual and a family like that and a tribe like that comes together? Understanding each other's purpose and understanding that life is happening for y'all and not against y'all. What to stop that type of, in, that, that type of group? So when we talk about Imani, the money force is that force that pushes this energy out in a sense and gets it. How can I? How, it fuels all of the other principles. It's the foundation upon which all the other principles are built up, right? Because it starts with you believing and knowing that life has conspired and set the world up for you. Now, what you do with it is on you. Like I tell, I, I try to get my young people to understand this, and maybe some of y'all can understand this. I stop calling it a family tree. And I need y'all to understand the importance of this. I stop calling it a family tree because in the family tree model, you are at the bottom. I flip it upside down and say you are part of a family pyramid. And if you look at all the foundation pieces that led up to you, each individual had to be in the exact right place at the exact right time for you to exist right now. If you believe that the creator set things in motion, then you have to believe, well, I ain't going to say have to, but would it not benefit you to believe that the, that the creator conspired, laid everything in place, put everything in place for you to be exactly where you are now. Through the millions and millions of people from the beginning of history, from the beginning of mankind, if there's even a beginning, all these individuals had to be in the exact right place at the exact right time, eating the right people, eating the right foods in order for you to be in existence right now. If all that happened so that you could be here right now, what else can you be doing? 
if the universe wanted you here, if the creator wanted you here, if your ancestors wanted you here and are rooting you on and sending you signals and you are able to pick them up, what can't you accomplish? What can't you build? What can't you change? By establishing and using the money principle, by using the money force, you change lives. You change not only your life, but everybody's life around you. And I'm sitting up here, I'm wondering why you wouldn't want to do that. Why don't you want to take that challenge? So, yo, for those listening in on Spreaker, know that I'm going to be moving uh, the, the show around because on certain days, I'm I'm not at the board right now. I'm in the chair. You know what I'm saying? Words from the chair. I'm sitting in the chair and I'm um, I'm just so apt right now. I got to sit up here and I have to go to work. I have to I have to write the article because like y'all done inspired me, man. Just the few of y'all, the few of you that are taking the time to view um, my video. I humbly thank you, and 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 you inspire me now. So now I have to put up a a a, 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 a small a small blog um, with my video. You know what I'm saying? I have to take my video and I have to create a podcast. So I'm doing this every day, right? And I'm praying that I'm bringing value to you. I'm I'm praying that I, I'm 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 affect you enough for you to be like yo. I'm going to help this YouTube channel grow. Yo, I'm going to subscribe to this. Yo, I'm going to subscribe to the um the 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 blog. You know what I'm saying? If you don't it, it, some of you might be like, "Yo, let's let's buy the book." You know what I'm saying? But the the point that I'm trying to make is this. My belief my faith in what I'm doing is only growing. It's 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 always been here. Right? I'm just now getting views on YouTube. I've been on YouTube maybe since 2010, right? I'm I'm almost 800 videos deep, right? I'm, I'm somewhere around there. I might be I might be on the high end. You know what I'm saying? I've been podcasting. I'm over a thousand podcasts deep. I'm over a thousand um, blogs deep. You know what I'm saying? And people are just now becoming aware of what I'm trying to do. And I have been pushing myself through with the money because when people are doubting me and people are looking at me as I'm crazy and I'm sitting in my mom's house and, and I'm writing on during the holiday, she used to she used to she stopped me from being able to write over there during the holidays and stuff because that's my free time. You know what I'm saying? And and I got introduced introduced to the blog and I'm kinda late on it now, but the piece that I'm saying is I'm boom. You know, I'm on it now. I'm on it now full and I'm going to give you a quality product, right? I just need you to help me with a goal now because I'm going to get off of that and I'm going to move to the goal. The goal is I want to reach 200 subscribers. I know some of the big YouTubers, even if you're seeing this, you might be giggling, right? Because I got 100,000, you know what I'm saying? That's cool. I, I'm, I'm happy for you, right? I just want to get 200 subscribers for my blog for my YouTube channel, right? And I would like to move my um, my Spreaker channel to about 1,500 subscribers, right? It costs you nothing, you know what I'm saying? So if, if you feel what I'm doing, if you feel what I'm trying to do for you as well as for myself, like, subscribe, most importantly, share, all right? This is Brother I Tim. Now I'm about to get to work. Y'all about to see me working. You are now listening to Giami Journey Radio. This is a Heart of a Symbol production. Where we strive to blow up your old paradigms.
My name is Prophet and this is Giami Journey Radio. Like Queen Sheba Most can't deal with your strength That's why they still beat ya Took you out the Holy Trinity But still need ya Back to black consciousness Is where I'm trying to see ya I'm a star You're a set On the throne Is where I keep ya Black woman Your position is minuscule Cook, clean, serve All you was put here to do Not realizing these qualities Were put into you Cause your leadership skills are natural Don't believe me, Queen and Zynga Led the war against them crackers, fool My people sleep, so I teach That's what a master do Grew up with visions of chauvinistic theatricals Now it's my mission to grab the culture And get back to you So we can show the seeds What it is they have to do Break the chains, run away, slave They coming after you 
the men and women at odds and take the child too Make sure she have more than one baby daddy, your daddy do 400 years later, no savior, they really lynched you So take a listen, black woman, let me heal you Any man that breaks you down, really fears you My elder Shabaka say what the women do, the men do So when you start the revolution, we right here with you Thank you for watching the video. I want you to subscribe. Click the bird right there, the fiery bird. And I also have a special video just for you, right there. And for those that want more information about Jamie Journey, go to our site. It should be right about there.